located here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's such a gorgeous area of the country that I think is really underappreciated and not a lot of people know about how wonderful it is. And there's tons of lakes and rivers. There's over 250 waterfalls in the area. It's called the Land of the Waterfalls. You can experience something outside of your comfort zone. Getting out into, you know, out into Pisgah onto Looking Glass, it's a completely different experience. You're climbing a real rock, you know, it's not as structured, I suppose, so really getting onto something new and succeeding is a huge thing. Keystone was founded in 1916 by my great-great-aunt Florence Ellis and Miss Fanny Holt. So not only are we the oldest private summit camp in the southeast, but it's also been in the family for four generations. I think for, for families to know that there's been this continuity, that there's been this real dedication to the lives of girls, to watching them progress, to watching these families come through, to look at these second and third and fourth generation campers, and to know that a child who has no connection with Keystone at all can enter into this world where there's a long history and tradition of providing this independence, this development for young girls is huge. So in 1972, we started our own program with keeping horses here year-round, looking at offering after-school lessons, and since then we've really raised the bar and committed ourselves to a very, very strong horseback riding program. And we've had a year-round equestrian director now since 1990. I would say that our equestrian program is really top-notch. Uh, you can ride horses every day if you want to. You can go on different trips every day if you want to. We have a lot of different opportunities to kind of set your own schedule. I think it's really important for the girls to be able to make their own decisions because they take ownership in their day-to-day -day life. It's not something that somebody else has set up for them, it's something that they have chosen to do, that they have created this pathway for themselves in camp that we have a real opportunity to give the girls independence just in the way that we're structured. We have a huge advantage. We're small. We have an opportunity to actually really and truly know exactly who your child is, where she comes from, something about her, you know, knowing her background, knowing what kind of school she goes to. We know what Jane's invested in what she's done at the climbing wall. We know how hard Kathleen's been working on the diving board. We know what they're doing. We know what it means to them. That's the kind of level that a being in a small camp can provide. You can achieve anything that you want to achieve. Playful L for loud. I didn't know that. We have two great gifts that we give our children. The first is roots, the second is wings. And I think in a lot of ways, summer camp gives a child both. Such a big part of, of uh, growing up is to be able to be confident in yourself. You can 
choose to make it up the rock wall, but you have to have the confidence to do that. And I know that it is often something that is hard, and especially for young girls, it's a hard thing to get, to be confident enough to do something, to put yourself out there, to make new friends, but you do have that opportunity to do that. Summer camp provides an essential element that's missing in a lot of other parts of our culture now. Texting and emailing is not connecting on a fundamental level. It's not being able to look somebody in the eye and really understand the impact of your words on somebody else or what your support means to another person. This is going to be awesome. So if you got it, you just have to pull. Pull, pull, pull. I like your shirt. <laughs> I mean, it's, it sounds so hokey, but camp is still about the simple things. It's still about the face-to-face -face relationships. It's still about the face-to-face -face conversations. It's the sharing space, the living together, and figuring out how we can all get along. And I just think it makes us better people to still be able to do that. The first thing I say to those parents on closing day is, your daughter should be proud of herself. You know, what your child accomplished is huge. Honor that, support that. It is the child's success. It is you know, their ability to discover that strength inside themselves. I would say it's our drive here that each child be, be valued and respected as the individual that, that they are and what they bring to camp. You know, everybody here has value and something to contribute and that's what we're all about.